Today we're going to be going over two pals that you can get at the beginning of your playthrough of Pal World that can carry you through the entire game. They look rather unassuming at the beginning, but when you upgrade these the right way, they can become some of the most powerful pals in the game. These things are absolutely amazing. They've been carrying us through dungeons, defeating bosses way higher level than us, which is incredibly difficult to do. And the fact that you can get them at the beginning of the game is bananas. So I'm going to be showing you every single thing that you need to know how to make these two pals so unbelievably OP, you're going to be very hard pressed to remove them from your party for the rest of the game. Now you've already seen the numbers that we've been pushing out and we are going to be talking about Lift Monk and Fox Sparks. These are two pals that you can basically equip on your body and use as weapons and they can be devastating additions to your team. And you'll notice here just at level 30 our Lift Monk has 719 attack but we've properly bred them up to have passive skills that give a massive attack bonus and they leveled up their partner skills through the pal condensation process. Currently this Lift Monk and this Fox Sparks are my two most powerful pals on my team out of everything I've caught so far in the game. Our Fox Sparks here has 704 attack with a plus 45% damage increase from its passive skills. And I'm going to be showing you every single thing you need to know to do this for yourself. Now the important thing about these two pals is their partner skills. Fox Sparks has Huggy Fire, which allows us to equip it as a flamethrower. And Lift Monk has Lift Monk Recoil, which allows it to leap onto our head. And it uses a submachine gun whenever we have our player attack. So what we're going to be doing is tossing out, say, our Fox Sparks. We're going to equip the Huggy Fire. And then we can start blasting. And we'll be able to do a ton of damage with this. You can see these level 38 Mamorists really don't stand a chance against this. It's pretty ridiculous, especially considering they are higher level and we do less damage against higher level things. The fact that we're able to do so much damage to something such higher level than us is pretty ridiculous and it's why these are so powerful to have in your party. Now the way you're going to use these is pretty much cycle between using their partner abilities and kiting things if you're doing something like higher level bosses or something like that or you can actually let them do a bunch of damage as well because they are strong pals in their own right but these Mamorests are pretty strong. It's kind of ridiculous, especially fighting three of them at once. Now let's go over exactly how we're going to be making these extremely powerful creatures. It's a combination of breeding and using the Pal Condenser to be able to make them much more powerful than they otherwise would be. But the best part about this is they're so low level and so easy to catch that you can do this really easily to be able to make some of the most powerful pals in the game pretty much right at the beginning. Now I have done an entire video already on the breeding process. I'll leave a link in the description as well as pinned in the comments below. But essentially what we're doing is we are finding Fox Sparks with skills that we want and combining them onto one Fox Spark to be able to make one that's far more powerful. For instance, this is the Fox Sparks that I'm currently breeding, which has Muscle Head, Lucky, and Sadist on here. So that is a total of plus 30 attack. We have the negative 50% work speed from Muscle Head, which we really don't care because this is not going to be a worker. This is strictly for combat. We've got Lucky on here from a Lucky Pal that we got, and we transferred it onto this Pal, which gave us work speed plus 15 and attack plus 15. So that's a total of 45 there. Then Sadis gives us another 15%. And what I'm currently trying to breed onto it as well, and what I'm... <clears throat> And what I'm trying to breed onto it as well is this Pyromaniac, which gives another 10% increased to fire attack damage, giving us a total of 55% increased damage technically because of the increased fire attack damage. Now, since this Fox Sparks is male and this one is male, that means I need to get a female and I just got three eggs and I need to hatch. So let's see if we got a female with the three passive skills that we want. That one only had Muscle Head. This one has Muscle Head, Lucky, and Sadist. Perfect. We don't know if it's female yet. Unfortunately, the egg we hatched was also another male. But essentially, the process for breeding is getting these Fox Sparks with passive skills that we like and stacking them all onto one that we're then going to upgrade significantly more. We're also going to be doing exactly the same thing with the Lift Monk. I've already got one with 
with the Lucky and Muscle Head on here. So that's an increase of 45 damage alone. And I'm going to be happy with this one because it is a lucky one, meaning it is going to be larger than a usual one. And I kind of like that. And I'm not going to get too greedy with the damage. Now, if you haven't already, I definitely recommend checking out the full breeding guide that I do have on the channel. We go a lot more in depth into it. But essentially, you're just going to need cake for this process. The cake is going to allow the pals to breed. And then you're just going to try and transfer those passive skills over to one particular pal. And then that's going to be the pal that we focus on upgrading in the next step. So I'm going to walk you through upgrading our Lift Monk here because we've already got the Lucky and Muscle Head on here and that's as far as I'm going to push it. I'm still working on maxing out one of our Fox Barks. And the next step is going to require us to have a whole bunch of the particular pal that we're trying to upgrade. This is where this pal condenser comes in extremely handy. What we need to do is select the pal that we want to upgrade, which is our Lucky Lift Monk. We're gonna put that, we're gonna click on it to be able to add it to the PAL condensation. And then we need to get four PALs that we want to condense into this singular one. You're gonna notice here that we get an increase to max HP, an increase to attack, and an increase to defense, as well as an increase to this skill that allows us to use it as a weapon, which is the Lift Monk Recoil. So we're going to add this Lift Monk right here, and we need to add three more. We can begin condensation, we're going to click yes, and now we have a Lift Monk that is just a little bit stronger. So now we're at 345 attack and 188 defense. Now if we click into this, we're going to see here that the base attack is going up. So this difference between our attack because of our path, passive skills on here, it shows up as 345. The base attack is really 238 at the moment but we'll notice we're going to get even more of a boost when we upgrade because we're going to get that compound bonus of the passive skills as well so now we need to add 16 more to be able to get this next upgrade and you can see just how many we're going to need let's go ahead and add these 16 it's going to end up being close to 100 total actually it's going to be a little bit over 100 that we're going to need total so right now our total attack on it before upgrading is 345 we're going to begin the condensation with 16 of these lift monks and you're going to see now that we have 361 attack. Now the next one is going to require 32 pals. So we can add a whole bunch of these. I don't know if I have enough to fully upgrade it as of right now. We did have enough to take it to level 3, which is going to give us that Lift Monk Recoil level 4. And now we have 378 total attack. Now the next upgrade is going to take 64 of these pal essences, which means we got to tame 64 more Lift Monks, and that is the final level. It's going to give us Lift Monk Recoil level 5 and additional attack, HP, and defense. Now I'm going to go over the two areas that I use to farm up the Lift Monks and the Fox Sparks. Now the Lift Monks are the more annoying of the two to farm up because they do run from you instead of fighting you like the Fox Sparks do. Uh, but there's two areas that I like to farm these up because there are high numbers of each of them in these areas, which is going to make it incredibly easy for you to be able to farm this up. Don't get me wrong, it's still going to take time, but there is some tricks that you can do, especially if you're playing uh, solo or playing on your own server with friends or whatever you want to do. There's ways that you can farm up more of these incredibly quickly. You can see just how many pals we have in the world and you can actually go into the game settings and increase the number of pals in the world this is going to make the game much more difficult because you're going to be dealing with a much larger packs of enemies and can be very deadly but when you're farming up lots of stuff it is incredibly useful now the area that we're going to to farm up all of these lift monks is just north of the plateau of beginnings and it's on this little area right here there's a loop here that has a bunch of lift monks roaming around and the area that we're going to be farming up the Fox Parks is right next to it as well. There's a little loop here that has Fox Parks. And if you really want to go to another area that's a little bit farther away, you can go to the northeast little corner island over here. And this entire island has Fox Sparks all over. You can just run in a loop and continuously tame them. And you kind of just go around this loop and take out any of the Lift Monks. Just kind of just shoot them a couple times. I like going around on a mount that I can walk around on, like a Dire Howl or something like that. And I just make sure to hit them. And it is really annoying that they run away, but otherwise, just go around and collect as many of these as possible. And keep a lookout for any Lift Monks that have those great passive skills that you can use for breeding to be able to get a max damage one. Another one of the skills that you're really going to want to keep an eye out for is Ferocious. This is a plus 20% attack bonus, and if you get this on it, it's going to make it really, really powerful. The ideal setup you're looking for on both of these, whether it's a Lift Monk or a Fox Parks, is going to be a Lucky 
Musclehead, Ferocious, and Hooligan. This is going to give you an attack passive skill bonus of plus 80%. You can see here just how much of a damage increase that is, and this isn't even anywhere near maxed out yet. Without that passive skill bonus, it would have 329 base attack, but with it, it has 592. Now, I finally got my Lift Monk recoil to level 5. It's currently level 21, sitting at 476 attack power. The base attack power would be 289, but since we have the passive skills of plus 65%, because I did end up going with the Ferocious, Lucky, and Musclehead, this thing is already an absolute monster, but we can make it even better. What we're going to do is we're going to go to one of these statues of power and we're going to use the palaces to increase its damage even greater. So we're going to hit V to enhance pals rather than enhance player stats. We're going to select the Lift Monk here, which is our pal condensed one with the ferocious, lucky, and muscle head passives on it. And we're going to increase its attack power. So each time it's going to consume one of these uh, pal essences, I have some small ones, I have some medium ones. So we're going to enhance it like this. Each time you enhance it, it's going to require more pal souls. So this is going to give us another 6%, another 9%, or a total of 9%, then a total of 12%. Uh, and then it's going to move into the medium spheres. So it's going to give us up to 15% attack bonus, then 18. I believe it's going to go up to 21. And then I don't have any of these giant ones yet. So that's another 21% attack power, bringing our attack power at level 21 to 575, which is absolutely ridiculous. So that is the entire process for creating incredibly powerful pals. Whether it is these Lift Monks or Fox Barks, you can see the damage we got here. It's level 33 now and is sitting at 767 attack power, boosted up from 465. I do have another Lift Monk that's going to be even more powerful because we got the Hooligan trait on here, which is another 15% attack power. So you can see just how important proper breeding is, as well as using the Pal Condensation and the Statue of of power. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.